Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for September 13th, 2023 is at 118 a.m. EDT, the waning crescent moody moon goes into practical Virgo. To-do lists and schedules will help you prioritize your time to be more efficient. This energy is fleeting. So set up your systems while it's here. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for September 13th, 2023 is I was. I was. The letter E, the meaning is horse. The associations are balance, stability, harmony, teamwork, trust, and loyalty. Today, your focus is likely on that of others. You could be creating the stability that working as part of a team can bring. You don't have to do everything yourself. Trust others to help you. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for September 13th, 2023 is Honeymoon. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This card indicates the need for a getaway to nurture romantic love. The specific application of this message depends upon the person who is inquiring. For some, this card has literal meaning. You are going away with your new spouse following your wedding. For those already in a long-time partnership, this card speaks to reigniting the spark by taking a romantic holiday. It can also relate to the honeymoon period of a new relationship. And for still others, this card indicates that you will meet someone special while on a vacation. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for September 13th, 2023 is Water Element. Card 57. Water Element. Flow. Be buoyant today. Water is the elixir of life on earth. It is also a symbol for the astral fluid or universal energy that permeates all things. Water deserves our respect and gratitude since without it there is no life. Honor it and understand what it is that you as a human being can do to protect its purity and to not be wasteful of it. Water element is associated often with the divine feminine. It is about love, fertility, emotion, and is also associated with the subconscious mind. Water has no fixed state. It is in a constant state of flux. If this card has appeared to you today, work on consciously appreciating water and what it does for you. Consider carefully all the ways that you use water. How much do you use? Do you turn off the water while brushing your teeth? Are you consciously grateful for water? You may want to examine your emotions to see if they are tumultuous or on an even keel. Though it is natural for emotions to fluctuate, ask the water element fairy to help you keep them in balance. This water fairy dances in the flow of energy around her. She is joyous and buoyant as she moves with the current. She does not fight it. She moves with the flow. She knows that this fluid energy will take her where she needs to be and bring her to what she needs and desires. Since water is associated with the subconscious mind, you may also be looking at a need to follow your subconscious. Dive right into the depth of your nightly dreams and explore their content. They hold many messages for you. If you take the time to focus on them, pay attention to your 
intuition as it works to guide your daily life. Ask the element of water to purify your emotions and your intents. Ask it to help you see clearly as in a calm pool of water what you need to know about yourself on a deeper level. You might be pleasantly surprised by what you discover about yourself. Your chant, I honor the fluidity of life. I dance in the spirit of water. I drink in its substance deeply. I am thus sustained. So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for September 13th, 2023 is You're Not Alone. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. The older the soul, the deeper the cave. Many star seeds and old souls enjoy their own company. Spending time alone can be comforting and necessary for their vitality as it allows them to commune with their soul and fill up their energetic resources, especially if they have an underactive or open root chakra or find it hard being human. Many star seeds find it more nourishing to retreat than spend their time in meaningless conversations and relationships. However, we must remember that we're not here to go about this life alone. Humans are pack animals and we all need the love, company, and support of others, both emotionally and physically. In our increasingly online world, we can be connected to more people and yet feel more alone and isolated than ever. There's still so much we don't know about the energetic side of things like social media, with so many people knowing our news. What is that doing to your auric field? Commonly, we find ourselves in constant conversation, yet lacking the genuine connection of physical community and touch. The main message of this card is to step out of your cave and physically reach out to those in your life, to replenish when you need, but not isolate yourself. This could be seeing friends and family who live nearby or having a regu regular catch up walk with someone. In what ways can you open yourself up to the people who are physically in your life? Those you truly know. Your star seed soul inquiry. How can you reach out to people in your life physically? Your Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for September 13th, 2023 is Touching Earth. Card 12, Touching Earth. Plant something new. The law of cause and effect is always at work in your life. And this card is telling you to bring the greater consciousness to the casual seeds that you are planting in your energetic field. The angel of the rainbow is sending a full spectrum of light and color to nourish your highest intentions and to help them grow. And you can use her assistance to cultivate the destiny you desire. It is time to consider the garden of your dreams and take action that will produce beautiful blossoms and a bountiful harvest. Is there a new project that you have yet to begin? An image or an idea just forming in your mind? These seeds of inspiration are blessings from the universe, and you are the gardener being called to bring them to fruition. On a practical level, this card can indicate some new or increasing activity in the natural world. You may be creating an actual garden for yourself, a place where you can draw on the peaceful energy of the earth. You may even consider opening a flower shop 
or pursuing a career in a field related to agriculture, horticulture, or the like. You might also find yourself volunteering to clean up the environment, plant trees, or help our Mother Earth in some way. Always remember to plant the seeds of optimism, self-love, and belief in every goal and every area of your life, for out of that energetic field grows expanding joy. Your affirmation, I plant the seeds of my future in every present moment. I nourish my destiny with action and joyous expectation. Your daily energy reading for September 13th, 2023 is the astrology is telling you to break out those checklists and get into the groove. You are extra clever today. I was says teamwork makes the dream work. The romance oracle predicts a trip is coming up for you. The fairies ask you to go with the flow today. The starseed oracle asks that, that you go socialize. The priestess of light oracle reminds you to stay rooted in the present moment. So it seems that going with the flow today has you getting together with other human beings going and socializing with other people, staying rooted in the present moment, i.e. paying attention to the people who are immediately in front of you. But maybe in order to get to there, you need to do a bunch of upwork stuff. So you need checklists or maybe, uh, you, those te those checklists have to do with the dream work and your socialization is going to be in a work environment. However it plays out for you, remember to stay rooted in the present moment, go with the flow wherever it's taking you, and that you're a team player. And every single human being on earth who happens to be standing in front of you has the potential to be your teammate, but only the potential. Make them earn the spot on the team by being consistent and treating you with dignity and respect. 